After successfully pouring the foundation footer, we are plunging directly into the next step. Yeah, once you get past all the concrete pours, we'll be good. But keep in mind, we have about four or five more pours to go. Building our own forms for the concrete walls is a task far bigger than we initially thought. We quickly realized that we were fighting, making everything square. With each form that goes up, we start to see the footprint of our future home take shape. The entire thing is one big solid concrete block, obviously with an opening for a doorway for the vault door. A hidden passage. Fantastic. Step by step, we are setting out to tackle each piece of this build and finish our home. That's history, <laughs> you know? The good news is that the concrete for the footer went great. The iffy news is that we had originally scheduled two pours a couple weeks apart. The first pour was going to be for the footer and the second pour was going to be for the walls. And when we had to cancel that initial pour for the footer due to the rain, it moved the pour for the footer to be two days prior to the scheduled date for the pour for the walls. And it's yeah. not really ideal at all because it's gonna take us a while. <laughs> Got a sliver of hope that we can get it all formed up and done. Probably not. Not a chance. Restless soul, time and leave. Tomorrow's unknown mystery. Cause I'm leaving me. I end up waiting now. Wonder how I Seriously though guys, when he tells you that it's a good idea to do two major concrete pours within a couple days of each other, it's not a good idea. Right? No matter what he says, it's not a good idea. So Don't I thought I had a top tier concrete guy here working <laughs> with me. Obviously not. He's obviously an apprentice still. <laughs> I can't do it all, okay? I can't do the concrete and all the housework at the same time, Josh. The issue is, by us hustling, going as fast as we can to slap it in together, so chances can come apart. <laughs> <laughs> so, don't worry about it. Don't mention, don't even think about that, that last comment I made because it's not going to happen. I'll be out here before the sun comes up testing everything. And, and you'll be out here before the sun comes up running around and cussing. That's what you'll be That's doing. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're just using plywood, two by fours, and a little bit of rods to hold the forms together, and we're going to pretty much build everything ourselves like we always do. But hopefully, once we get the foundation walls poured, I'm going to get my hands on some uh, real concrete forms for that uh, safe room. Hopefully. Go on the inside. This is Duck right here. Comes up every day to check out what's going on. He's the only one duck, and I have no idea why he's obsessed with this project, but he is. All right, stop right here. We'll pick it back up and we'll turn it. I need to get my saw set down. We're at the beginning of the form started. It's kind of leaning right now, so it's about time for me to get my saw and get some kickers put on there and plumb everything up. And once it's plumb, we're gonna get the laser and shoot the very top of the, where the slab's gonna be at, and we're gonna cut it down the entire way through so it's a nice, perfect finish on top. We're gonna to smooth to the top of the uh, plywood. It's just a project where we need to get in the groove of things and then it'll start moving along. It's just we're going a little bit slow right now. Yeah, once we get past all the concrete pours, we'll be good. But keep in mind, we have about four or five more pours to go.
Are we square yet? You can't get more square with that, Aaron, if you have a striped shirt on. You know what I mean? You're getting pretty good at this. <laughs> <laughs> it's about time. So we ended up changing our approach to how we are building these forms uh, probably around the time that we got down to the very first corner and that's mm -hmm. because we quickly realized that we were fighting making everything square when we started with the wall first and then put the corner on. The issue we're having is wood, plywood obviously, and it's warped. It's not, it's not perfectly straight. So what I'm doing is putting the top portion on and I'm squaring it up and I'm screwing it in and then the bottom's not square. So what I'm doing is going to the bottom next and squaring that up and then locking it all in place. So hold everything square and then once we get that done, the top and bottom are good, that means we're good in the middle. We'll come back through there and put them in the middle after the fact. Keep the bottom, keep the bottom. Four. You go through here and just build the corners, build them square, brace them so they don't go in or out. Mm -hmm. And then we put them in the location on the ground where it's marked and square each side up so everything's squared together. We lock them all in and then we just put the pieces in the middle. <laughs> Right? And we are not a hair out of square. No, we're not. I hope. We're square? We're square. With this bottom board getting locked into place, we now have one, two, three, four, five corners that are built. So they're just built, they're not in place yet. So as soon as Josh attaches this last board right here, we're gonna go through with the tape measures and we're gonna square up all of these corners and then we can fill in all of the gaps. Inflation is hitting all of us right now. We're seeing it at the gas pump, at the grocery store, at our favorite restaurants, literally everywhere we look. And that's why we started using Upside. Upside is an incredible app for anyone who buys gas, groceries, dines out. It's pretty much all of us, right? Yeah. <laughs> With every purchase, I'm earning cash back thanks to Upside. To get started, just download the free Upside app in the App Store or Google Play, use our promo code WWOG, and get $5 or more cash back on your first purchase of $10 or more. We live an hour out from all major shopping, so whenever we head into town to pick up materials, go grocery shopping, or stop to fill up gas, we just check in at the business, pay as normal using a credit or debit card, and get cash back on all the things we're purchasing. Even if you use credit card rewards or loyalty programs, you can still use the app to get three times times more cash back using Upside. You can cash out at any time to your bank account, PayPal, or an e-gift card for Amazon and other brands. So when Josh goes to Lowe's to make all those fancy tool purchases, I can rest easy knowing that he used an e-gift card thanks to Upside. See, now you can't complain about my tool expenses. To try Upside, just download the free Upside app and use our code WWOG to get $5 or more cash back on your first purchase of $10 or more. Now let's get back to the build. <laughs> Alright, so take this board. These two corners are square with that corner, so this is good. Let's lock these two into place. We'll pull the walls in a little bit and then we'll uh, square that guy up because that, like I said, that one over there is fine. We gotta get this guy up and once he's up, this corner over there and everything's squared up, we're good to go to attach everything to the concrete and build all the walls. Hey Josh. Hey. Look, your name's on that board right there. Where? Ah. <laughs> What's that, huh? <laughs> Wait, just gonna take, take my shirt off. <laughs> So 
this side, we need to pull this side back a little bit, girlfriend. About three quarters of an inch. You're my number guy. I'm your concrete lady. I'm, oh. <laughs> don't, don't worry, I'll shovel that out. Don't worry, babe. I got really good at shoveling during this project. Okay. Yeah. Shovel, please. <laughs> Great, square, so square here, square, square to square. So that's all square. Good money, Dave, we're good. We're square now. Good. I'm zoomed all the way in on you, see? It's super close. I love you. You're so uh, handsome, you know that? I do. Those beautiful eyes. That's, so if you guys didn't know, <laughs> the reason why she, she found me was, was hit you. I found you. Well, you, your eye bought me from across the room. Hi, Josh. <laughs> I'm, I'm a has on backwards. I, I actually had a mohawk at that point, I believe, didn't I? Yeah, insert picture here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, blue eyes, obviously. And she had a little V-neck sweater on, nice little jean skirt, looking cute as can be. And just complete like- opposite. Complete opposite. <laughs> and then the uh, rest is history, you know? <laughs> That's the exact look you <laughs> shot there from across the room. <laughs> Not true. <laughs> now I'm blushing a little bit. <laughs> The hard part is done. It's all squared up everywhere and it's square good. So, yeah, we're, we're in a good spot. It's not done, Pat. It's okay. We're in a good spot, though. We have all four sides done right here. We're square. We're square. And there's always tomorrow. We'll get it done. We're always a day behind. You know that? Let's start getting those uh, 20 foot rebar installed on that back wall. We'll start wrapping everything around. So the goal is to get this whole section, which is going to eventually be the safe room, buttoned up before we move on to anything else. And we're trying to do this in a way that we're not blocking ourselves in. That's why we started with the plywood forms all the way around the outside first. So now we're gonna move on to the rebar. We're gonna install the rebar all the way around, except oh, we are gonna do this section and we're just gonna yeah. climb through. Or no, we're gonna no. we're gonna go all the way around, and then we're gonna do the inner forms all the way around, missing this section. And then what we're gonna do is we'll do the, this exterior for the inner form here, form, and then rebar, and then close up, and wham, bam, we're done. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's Trying fun. to make it as easy as possible, you know. <laughs> Once we build these walls up, we're pouring concrete again, and hopefully we can do it all one pour, meaning the walls will form the walls up, and then had the ceiling and everything formed up all at the oh same time gosh. and do one pour onto the ceiling and it just all flows down to the walls. The entire thing is one big solid concrete block, obviously with an opening for a doorway for the vault door. A hidden passage. Do the hidden passage. Can we just take this one day at a time, Josh? One, two, three, yep. Oh, tell that story. 
When we first met Help me remember that day Cause I'm reaching for something Something to believe in I won't let it be nothing Your eyes so bright And we danced all night Hey, do you wanna go first? And we made our escape together To fools in love in the morning light With fall in the air, it feels just like it did four years ago building a foundation and wondering how in the heck we are ever going to go from dirt to a house. The struggle to ensure our work is square, hands covered in rust from rebar, and the repetitive bending, measuring, cutting, and screwing. Although it's long been planned, I don't think either of us realized how quickly we would get here, or how excited we would be to once again be building. How you doing? I mean, I'd be doing better if you had knocked all these rocks into okay, the- don't, this is not my fault. <laughs> 100% not my fault. Everything he stepped, he fell into his little trench, got stuff everywhere. Even the worst stages of the building process have been lightened by the enjoyment we've found working together to solve problems, fix our mistakes, and celebrate our progress, no matter how slow it may come. I stepped in poop. Stepped in cow poop? Right there. Oh. That's it. What? What's different this time around is we now have three kids who have grown alongside us as we built the A-frame and who are happily in the trenches alongside us when they can be to fully experience what it's like to build their own home from the ground up. Everybody cup at the sweetest smile. <laughs> You got that? <laughs> it's really the jazz hands for me, Josh. Yeah. That's what does it for me. Can I yeah. see that one more time? No. Just the jazz hands? No, my face is getting red. <laughs> hey, what's good? Just in time. You've got some rebar real quick. I like it. <laughs> <laughs>